I'm Representative Carolyn Peace Lopez from House District 42 in Bighorn and Yellowstone counties. This week, in our Week in Review, I will be discussing how Democratic priorities like investments in infrastructure, promoting educational opportunities, and Medicaid expansion will benefit Indian Country and all Montana. I will also be joined by Senator Mary Caffaro, who will be providing you with an update on the importance of equal pay for equal work for every member of our Montana families. There is currently an unemployment rate of 60 to 80 percent on our reservations. Montana's reservations have the third highest poverty rate in the nation. The lifetime expectancy for an Indian man is nearly two-thirds that of a non-Indian man. Although Native Americans comprise 6% of Montana's population, they make up approximately 25% of our prison population. This is unacceptable. While Republicans have been busy pursuing irresponsible tax cuts that benefit the wealthy, and passing legislation to drug test our friends and neighbors in need, Democrats are committed to finding real solutions. This includes investing in public works projects like those in House Bill 5 to create more good paying jobs on our reservations and throughout our state. It involves supporting our public schools as education is the great equalizer. We must also expand Medicaid so that our families and communities can access needed health care. It is our responsibility to improve these conditions, and we hope our Republican colleagues will join us in this endeavor. To watch the State of Tribal Nations address and learn more, click here. week, the House passed a package of bills that will make much needed investments in mental health care throughout our state. I was proud to carry a bill to fund a crisis diversion program for our children who are struggling with mental illness. We as Democrats could not be prouder that these steps have been taken, but it is still not enough. Our obligation to our families and communities in crisis requires us to do the right thing and ensure that all Montanans have the care they need. That's why we must expand Medicaid this session. 70,000 of our neighbors cannot wait for the health care they need. We just learned yesterday that after a month of waiting, the Republican leadership has finally allowed for a hearing on this incredibly important proposal on March 6th. It's time to put away the political theater and do the right thing for people without health care in our communities. To learn more about the mental health bills, click here. I'm Senator Mary Caffaro from Senate District 41 in Helena. A lot has happened in the Senate this week, and I would just like to share with you one of the bills that I've been honored to carry this session. In Montana, a woman earns 67 cents for every dollar a man makes. Equal pay for equal work is not just a Democratic priority, it is simply the right thing to do. What is good for working women is good for working families, and that is why I carried Senate Bill 198 to address this gap. This bill would have revised longevity laws for state employees which currently hurt working women who take time off to raise their families. Unfortunately, this bill was tabled in committee along party lines just like every other equal pay measure introduced. Our duty as legislators is to do the right thing for our constituents, and Democrats will not allow these setbacks to deter us from continuing to push for equal pay for women across the state. To learn more about Senate Bill 198, click here. Thank you for taking the time to watch our edition of the Week in Review. Make sure to check it out again next week for more updates from the Capitol.
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can click the button below to subscribe. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Links for our caucus and our personal accounts are in the description.